something I had to learn and understand too. Uh, you are the carbon they want to reduce. And I always th I thought it was strange too about carbon when they first started talking about carbon tracking. Not just the, the rich, the point a lot of people make is like, how the rich are driving jets and all this kind of shit, you know, whatever. They're the, the biggest polluters besides corporations and whatever. Um, normal people are not doing anything to the environment. Uh, you shouldn't litter. I, I see people litter here. I'm in a nice neighborhood. I'm, I see people just throwing their shit on the fucking ground. I'm like, what is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Um, that's dumb. I've always thought littering was stupid, though, even when I was in the city. It made a whole lot more litter there. But uh, anyways, um, this was another thing that reminded me of what I'd learned when I was a kid, that carbon was life, like basically oxygen. Um, and I thought that was funny. Because, like, it reminded me of the mask thing. Like, what we learned as kids was masks don't stop fucking viruses. What we learned as kids was carbon is life. Um, and now that's different. We're in upside-down world. This is for this is how you know that whole, like, up is down, down is up. It's true. This is That's the reality that they're forcing us into presenting. This is... Now we're upside down. No more. <laughs> I, get, I get the sun went from yellow to white. I guess that makes sense. Huh? <laughs> I mean, maybe it is real. Maybe we fucking got inverted like Inception, man. I don't know. Some funny stuff. Um, but no, as far as what we're being told, because I do, I have witnessed reality change. Um, it's interesting. It's very interesting. But I mean, I'm I'm talking about what, what we're presented with by the so-called experts and the so-called authority and shit like that. What they what they give us is bullshit, you know. Uh, so yeah, reality is is interesting and crazy and magical. It is magical. Life is magical. It's miraculous um but then we have we're being deceived by fucking evil demons basically that's how i think of them i can't think of them any other way look at what they've done uh they turned us into fucking nazis dude uh, for real so <laughs> over i know and how did they do that you know what's funny to me you think about it how did they do that it's not because people are scared like like a bunch of idiots will tell you it's not because people are scared some maybe maybe some i bet you i bet you the people that are afraid are a smaller percentage in comparison to the people that just care that's that's where you get people care care about it so we got turned into nazis because we care for people but that's what flipped me though i was like no you're fucking insane camper kill the invac you fucking lunatics you motherfucking lunatics are you fucking kidding me man that was my first step into uh, whatever. I had recognized a lot of the stuff that didn't make sense throughout the so-called pandemics, a lot of the bullshit, a lot of the shit that I've seen before throughout my life with the businesses being closed. Um, and not and before, we didn't have mandates that I can remember. But what I do remember, and what I do remember, is bigger corporations taking over and while the smaller businesses are, are just gone, pushed out. That's nothing new. It's the same old cycle, man. Fucking crazy. And that's why, um, you know, with it's funny to me because I hate money. I think money's stupid. I know that it's fake. I've known that it's fake my whole life because it's never made sense. But it is a system that we live in. So the general, most basic thing, everything will always come down to is money. And minimum wage is not a living wage. You can't live like that. There's no life there. Work, sleep, work, sleep, work, sleep, work, sleep, just to pay the fucking bills. Um, so the middle class don't know what that's like. They think they do. That's what's funny. That, that's great, because at least they can empathize. Um, you know, that's nice. Right on. But they don't know. They don't actually know. Uh, I don't even know if uh, like middle class seems kind of gone right now, but I think there still is one. It's just it's just a tier higher now, right? Like um, Like... Like a portion or whatever, half of the middle class became poor, and the other half became stayed middle class, I guess. <laughs> but the new middle class, right? That's it's just a higher tier for middle class now. Uh, whatever. Yeah, I saw people complaining. They're. Uh, I I just thought it was funny. They're not wrong. I I don't think I even have it saved. But somebody was complaining. Um, they were they thought they were poor. And they made 80 grand a year. And I was laughing at that. <laughs> there are people that think they're poor when they make $80,000 a year. You're not fucking poor. You're not rich. 
you're not poor. <laughs> I would say that's as close to middle class as you can get. But you, it's, a lot of people don't realize the gap, like between someone like a character that we're supposed to believe in, like Elon Musk. The gap between him and a middle class person. There's no comparison. If you're, if we are to believe what we know of, the, like, there's no comparison. None. You're not even a speck on the fucking radar, man. 